What's up everybody? Mustafa here with some more reviews. We have another HP laptop today that we want to talk about. This is the HP Pavilion X360 14 inch laptop. Uh, the model we have here is the gold model. So it is a uh, very muted gold, but it is very beautiful. Uh, this laptop comes in with a Core i5 11th gen CPU. So 11th gen CPUs are supposed to have a better graphics processing. You supposedly you can play some games on it as well. Uh, also comes in with 8 gigabytes of RAM as well as 250 gigabytes of SSD. The original price of this one is $750, but Best Buy is currently running a very good deal on this. You can get it for a cheaper price. Uh, so make sure to go to Best Buy if you want to buy this buy it from Best Buy. Uh, of course, I don't get paid if you buy it from Best Buy, but yeah, they are running a very good deal on it. This is the first 11 gen laptop that I'm going to review. Uh, we'll definitely test the uh, gaming performance as well as the other parts of the laptop. Pavilion series are supposed to be the budget series of the HP laptops compared to X uh, Spectre C series, which are supposedly the premium laptops of HP. That's why uh, you get the lower processing power as well as the lower price tag. So let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is a quick unboxing. Uh, we'll see what comes in the box. Box the, the main difference this one has with a regular X a Spectre laptop is that it doesn't include the in the box it doesn't include any pens or any cases but you can definitely use a regular vacuum pen and it should work with this laptop so let's get to the unboxing and then we will talk about the other parts of the laptop Let's talk a little bit about the aesthetics of the device. Let me disconnect this charger first. The aesthetics of the device, it is a beautiful device. When you open it up, the first thing that you notice is going to be this huge bezels that you see right over here. The display can get very bright, which is good enough. I don't know how many nits of brightness it can go up to, but it is a 1080p panel, 14 inch 1080p IPS spray with supposedly 178 degree wide angle viewing angles. It is a beautiful machine. It is well built. The screen flex is a little more than the HP Spectre X360, but it is good enough. Yeah, the build quality is good enough. It is a metallic uh, build. The only thing that comes that you see when you open the laptop is going to be the bezels 
But this laptop is not geared toward uh, technology enthusiasts. So I don't think regular people who are gonna use this laptop wouldn't care about the bezels that much. But it comes with a lot of ports. It comes with a USB, a legacy USB-C, USB, -C, USB uh, on the left side as well as the headphone jack. Another USB on this side, a USB-C here. Uh, SD card slot, HDMI, and also the charging port. So you have to keep that, keep that in mind that inside the box you don't get a USB-C charging port, and the charging port I was using it was mine, but you can definitely use a USB-C charging port if you want to. And this is a two-in-one device, so you can definitely use it in the tent mode or tablet mode if you want to. Uh, one benefit of having a huge bottom chain is that you can hold the tablet without touching the display which is I assume a welcome addition to the laptop it has a good quality uh, trackpad it, it is a large enough trackpad you can use a trackpad but when you Try to click on it, you hear this sound. I'm not pushing that hard, so I'm not clicking. I'm just like touching the keyboard. So essentially it it makes that noise when you click on it. I don't know if that's a, if this is a this is a problem with this device that I have right here. And it is not a problem honestly, it is just there. So hopefully you won't be annoyed by this. It comes with a fingerprint scanner, which is always a good addition, but it doesn't have the Windows Flow uh, functionalities that you might uh, want to have. One very welcome addition to the laptop is the fact that the speakers are right here on top of the laptop, which is like compared to the XP, uh, HP Xpector X360, which is supposed to be the premium model. That one has a bottom firing speaker on uh, essentially beneath the laptop, but this one has the speakers right here. So let's, let's hear the audio quality. As you heard, the quality is not the top of the notch, top of the line quality, of course, because this is supposed to be the mod, more budget oriented laptop HP brings in. But I think it's a, it's a good quality. Of course, you wanna use your headphones if you're uh, watching a movie or like doing audio work or something with this laptop. Something that I forgot to, forgot to mention that I was when I was talking about the specs of the laptop is the uh, the Wi-Fi 6. This laptop also comes with Wi-Fi 6. And they tell me, I haven't opened the laptop. It's actually, it is not that hard to open, but I actually, I have this laptop on loan, so I don't want to open this, but you have one screw right here. There are some screws underneath this uh, rubber. You want to take the rubber off, you can take off the screws, but I have been told that you should be able to upgrade the RAM and SSD on this laptop, which is a very, very welcome uh, news, if, if, it, if it's true, on the laptop. One thing that I'm usually concerned about myself is the quality of the keyboard of the laptop. This one has a good keyboard, it has a good layout, it is beautiful, it is also backlit, which I think Every laptop in 2020 is backlit. I don't think you can find a laptop that is not backlit. Uh, but the typing experience is good. I, I haven't had a problem with HP keyboards in general. And the typing experience is definitely a good experience. The key travel, I don't know the exact amount of key travel, but to me it feels enough, good enough key travel definitely uh, very good for a budget friend laptop but the key pa key keys themselves feel a, a little bit uh, not durable 
if you know what I mean. They, they are made from plastic, which is true for all of them. But I feel like the color of the keys will come off eventually after like one year or two years of use. I, it doesn't feel like a good quality key, uh, key coloring, if you will. Next, next thing we want to talk about is, of course, the quality of the tablet uh, as it pertains to writing on the tablet itself. Uh, it doesn't. This laptop doesn't come with its own pen, but you should be able to use a regular Wacom pen that you can buy from Best Buy or anywhere else, or a, an HP Active pen, the one of the older models. You should be able to use any of those to write on this tablet again it's a 14 inch 1080p panel it's a very good quality pa panel you have uh, it's an IPS panel so you have good colors you, good color accuracy for the price you're paying uh, but the next thing we want to talk about is the writing experience let's talk about the writing quality I'm gonna use my Dell pen which I have purchased for my Dell XPS 2 in 1, which we will review later on. Uh, it works out of the box. You don't need to like, establish any connection. You don't need to connect the Bluetooth, the pen functionality, and the eraser functionality, which you have to press this button works. Uh, and I, have, I haven't connected this to the laptop. So it's a regular Wacom pen, works with any Wacom surface, and works with this one as well. The writing quality on this one, I should say, is better than the HP Spectre X360, which I just reviewed uh, before this one. I think the main reason is that HP has a 4K display and the pen tip is very large for a 4, 4K display, for a 4K 15 inch display. But As you can see, it is it is definitely a very good experience. Uh, you can see the line here are the diagonal line uh, lines are very smooth. Uh, it seems to be that they have designed. They are using a good technology, Wacom technology. Um, it is not the HP's own technology, which is which comes in with the tilt pens and it is a good technology it works fine the writing experience if you need to use this for uh for a meeting or for giving a lecture doing not uh, homework or anything you can definitely use a regular buy a re regular vacuum pen and just enjoy the experience so the next step is going to be the cpu and gpu stress test it, this of course doesn't come with a uh, with a separate GPU, it's only going to use the Intel's 11 Gen Iris Xe GPUs, which are supposed to be the newer generation of GPUs. Keep in mind that the CPU number is 1135G7, so you get the most powerful GPU out there, as far as the Intel Xe goes. And we should be able to uh play a little bit of games very on low qualities of course but it will give you acceptable frame rates we're gonna see the gaming benchmarks as well as a stress test after this This laptop performs as I expected it to perform. It is not geared towards performance, it is more geared towards productivity and uh, 
budget purposes. So for productivity purposes, it's definitely a very good laptop. But if you're thinking of playing some games on it, as you saw in the gaming benchmarks, you're going to get into a lot of trouble uh, because of the fact that it doesn't have a dedicated GPU. But I would say the Intel XE graphics, or some people call it G graphic, definitely does a good job, better job than the previous generations of this, this laptop. Uh, probably with more updates, the gaming performance is going to get better over time. But you saw in the CPU stress test, we got the results that we really expected to get. It is a good CPU, it is definitely an improvement to the 10th generation CPU. But this for, for this price, I should say, I definitely recommend this laptop for purchase. And uh, something that I forgot to mention previously is the battery life. This laptop comes with a very small 43 watt hours battery. Uh, I didn't have the time to test uh, the battery life itself, but I expect you're going to get lower battery compared to the compared to other laptops who come with uh, a higher capacity battery. But in general, this is a good laptop if you are looking for a budget option. Uh, if, you, and if you are in the market to buy a laptop right now, this is definitely a good purchase, especially with the deal that Best Buy is currently running on it. That's it for this review of the HP Pavilion X360 today. Don't forget to... Uh, that's always my phone. <laughs> I forgot to silent my phone. Don't, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and like the videos. And thanks for being with us.